These medics are learning how to fit their life-saving suits, crucial for taking care of them so they can take care of others. Chris has worked for many years in the ambulance service. He has two grandchildren and a third on the way. He'll miss Christmas Day with them, which is also his own birthday, because he'll be in Sierra Leone with people he believes need him more. I would imagine it's going to be just another working day for us out there. Um, I have got some cards and presents that um, were given to me before I left, so that's how I'll be marking it. I'll probably open them on my own, more or less, but um, they apparently they've all brought candles for me. So, for your birthday? For a birthday cake, yeah. I'm not sure they got enough, though. Chris is one of 25 volunteers leaving for Sierra Leone tomorrow. Their training here is preparing them to work in the tight confines of a treatment tent, wearing their cumbersome but critical protective suits. Once you've got the goggles on, um, they have a tendency to fog, so you can't see what you're doing. Um, and that makes you at risk of tearing the suit or something happening that you're not aware of because your vision's quite impaired. And we've got two sets of gloves on, um, which means that it's difficult to feel. So if we're doing an exposure prone procedure, like taking blood from a patient, that's obviously going to be a bit more difficult than usual. This is where they'll be for the next six weeks, caring for very sick and frail victims of this deadly epidemic. Ebola has claimed more than 6,000 lives in West Africa, and preparing these medics for the tough environment is vital. In a matter of hours, these medics will be on their way to West Africa, leaving behind their families to fly into a crisis, knowing their help will save lives. Sally Lockwood, 5 News.